Let's talk with DJ Cappuccino. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino. Thank you for listening to Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. And if you're listening, please click on like or subscribe. We value your comments. We value your criticism because that's how the podcast will grow. Thank you again for viewing. Just talk with DJ Cappuccino. Always on point. What is being on point? You know, man. It's like we check below your rights, am I? Hey, suicide is bad, man. Yeah. I was suicidal as well uh, at some point. But you know, that's when you respect the power of God. What we are doing now. How does anyone explain depression? How does anyone explain bipolar? Nobody will ever do that. They will diagnose you, yes. This and that, but it's a spiritual thing more over anything. They, uh, I've got sinuses. I just went to the chemist. I bought 48 sleeping pills, schedule zero. And I was just tired of living. I've also noticed uh, the gigs you get booked in. And some of the gigs I can see that it means you are good in personal relations. My clients, most of them, today he's a CEO of something and he decides, Joe, I'm going to <laughs> just talk. Welcome to another episode Capuchino. of Just Talk with DJ Cappuccino. My name is Fortune Maswangani. I also go by the name DJ Cappuccino. I am with Matlazi Machi, a uh, vocalist. I always call him Muzo. Matlazi, I call him Muzo. Uh, but I guess he can explain very well or can among. And all that. Welcome to Just Talk to DJ Cappuccino. Thank you so much, DJ Cappuccino. Fortune. Bravo to me. Hey, Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, no. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful moment to be sitting here with you. Why on you a always, more formal basis, ne? Always on point. What is being on point? You know, man. It's like we check below your rights, am I? No, but not going to score or why Maria 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 um, this is the one man that I admired until the age of 16 when he passed away. <clears throat> I mean, but even during the day, you'd find him because he's going to a meeting. Wow. So he comes back and changes, in fact, and he, he would even put in a different cologne, you know, so just to go to attend a certain meeting. Then yeah. we are on that meeting, watching each other relaxed and sit at home. So we're talking three outfits in, in a day. So I, I, I saw that life until <clears throat> at that age. And um, even now when I started growing up, I, I, I saw worry. Um, it has become my second nature. Mm. I don't try hard to look the way I look or to, you know, dress the way I dress. But instead, I... <clears throat> It's like in my mind. It comes Already I got to get to tomorrow, get to work up or so, and that's it. Mm. Yeah. But thank uh, you for the compliment. But we still not yet. Not so cold. Even, even Jahal, you just mix and match. Just mix and match. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want you to take us back, man, if you don't mind, to that boy, mm. that little boy, that two-year, three-year-old, four-year-old, the family structure, if you can remember anything, and your fondest memories around that time. Uh, when you were growing up? I grew up in a very beautiful family of a father and a mother. And I also had a, I have a beautiful older sister and uh, older brother as well. So my family, um, we grew up in a proper structure where and then we are there to, you know, we look after each other. Um, but one of the things that, especially being a last born, I think most of the people who are not low, are not last born in a certain stigma. But uh, being a last born, um, one of the things that I even tell people now that they don't really believe as much, mm -hmm. I grew up being much of an introvert. I'm a very shy person by nature. Really? Yeah. Very shy, but it doesn't come out um, really being a shy person. I was much of an introvert. I remember my pastor from IAG. Onampicha, a scientist, because every time I go to school, he would, I would be in the house, 
and ke ne le ne le nna mothola o wa go fixa okay ya wa gore betla so always be in the house um busy trying to fix this fix that um put up my own little things it's like he ba thoba dira di di um science fair go skolo ba dira mafetlo nna ne ke dira you know i would do a moving car type of thing with the motor and stuff like that so oh. yeah i was never mfanola ro go strating my father never wanted me or go ro go strating because college is sure zone on masakaning and you know um um it was one of those cases che longo re batho ne ba tse ba ra so my father is originally from gaskukuni then my mother was a mama bolo so they were they were so much rooted in god that as well as they they almost pushed us to go to church and within that being pushed to go to church i also knew god from a young age so um i've got a, uh, two boys now um one is uh one year and a half and then the other one is three so this three year old i i see myself uh when you have a vivid memory of yourself when you were still that young isa isa yeah within yeah. within the family i was very naughty got as, as as an introvert as i was nikeli naughty as well because you know do something and keep quiet and then after that get like we ke lukisha ga up into you know so that that the the memories of me when i was young uh, revolves around me just being you know that boy who always watch tv o seleka ka ntlong o dira dilwana lwana tshe so um and of course sunday school and yeah but and not not so much in the streets the, the family was it uh, how how do you remember it was it peaceful very Did peaceful eat together yes yes eat together what, what was happening the family was very peaceful because <clears throat> my mother loved cooking and she loved also baking for my father gugu you know bread as well and then because she go give for room re go leje gara for room um i recall very well gore ba ba go lonje ba dula motafoleng i'm sorry about that like we 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 had a very big house no 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 ba ba go lonje ba dula motafoleng go for room so yeah. my father and my mother would sit on the table and probably maybe with my sister and my brother and then na ke tla ba ke dutse ka mo fasa ta fola chances are maybe sometimes if you know friends or cousins came dula ka mo fasa ta fola and they were all dish up for us so re dutse kwa re busy ra ja you know it was it was beautiful because um nekete ba even at the time gone na go rapela gone na go robala gone na go go tsoga on sundays my dad would come ar go timiriri we go to church groom you nicely groom us nicely yeah. um even at school as well there would always be you know available like your parents meeting and stuff like that mm. um yeah so my family was was beautiful i don't want to lie uh, yeah is your mother still alive my mother passed away 2015 Sorry about that because okay. I see uh, I've observed a lot like you talk about your dad. Yes. There are some <coughs> pictures that you would post uh, while you were still young with your with your dad. Yeah. And and the swag. <laughs> you know, from even like he would make sure you also look the part. Yes. But I would see uh you in him. Definitely. You know, and everything. Uh um those memories. Mm. Like what is your that fondest memory feel like I once did this thing with my father and I will never forget it. Yo, um okay so I was a I was a daddy's boy proper in a sense that uh I think my father also saw himself in me mm-hmm. would always have a father and son talk this is up until 2 o'clock in the morning perhaps we started talking maybe from 9 he would get any kasi he would make sure that he find himself teaching me how to speak english at what age were you Uh, 10 11 12 what that's abuse man till to the top keeping a 10 year old yeah. up no, no no look i mean this is yo <laughs> it's not a <of> view <laughs> well i mean look i i treasure those moments now yeah. because yeah, yeah this is you sitting with your father and it's priceless man <clears throat> him making you understand what life is at that age mm. you know my father i remember the first time when i saw him cry when they uh, they assassinated krisani he was a politician mm. and i saw my father cry literally literally You know as much as they say men were not taught to cry but I saw my father cry and that's why then not till date I'm a very emotional man because I'm I'm, I'm very true to myself. Mm. Um but one of the fondest moments that I remember about uh my you know my relationship with him was every time in Alata mam meroko kapo ma 5 6 go um in town and would always go and roar ga di pie. Oh yeah, and then would buy a, 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 a bottle of milk. Mm. to legara fene 
get another time on your name. Yeah. And then probably maybe in a box of 10, you would buy extra two. Yeah, take it to my Yeah. no before my mama. Yeah. And you know, I would even give you a little melegola. Then later that, on, you join in. Uh, with later the... on, I join in on the 10. <laughs> I join in on the 10. But one of the other saddest moments that I, 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 yo, you remember Galanzi never registered the Hohos, Nene, maybe Barbona, especially Sa, the Hohoja Tendrant or whatever at the time. I think that's before I came. Yeah. The so college, yeah. La, one day my father went along, I got the Hohoja 20. And then my brother was not there because my sister has always been in Joburg for school. My brother was not there. My mother was not there. Ah, time at the end of the van. Eh, get your regadu hoch. Ampana. I slaughtered 16 chickens alone. What did you call me? What did you call me? You know, the time I was out. I was out. I was out. Um, yeah, but I think, look, those moments are, are, are very... Mm much memorable because um, I had a father, man. Mm -hmm. I had a father that I can tell you. And that's why I'm very uh, fond of uh, uh, um, him, even the memories that you see. Look, mm -hmm. yes, before my mother passed, we, we had a good relationship. Primary uh, school? Primary school, I was a What were you? What were you? Naughty, but yet I was an A student. Mm. From Ponerele, um, I was I would do your, um, you know, work in position one or position two, mm. position one and position two. This happened until grade eleven, which is from four. Yeah, nigele blind go school. So primary school, I was that boy, and every time nigele needy, you know, I would always chill with the the big guys as well, you know, and and yeah, we we people knew me at school. Mm. I don't know how did I make that presence to be felt, but people knew me at school. Mm. Yeah, and and even up until I went to, um, you know, lower primary and then high school as well, and even tertiary. Because you know, you know, uh, school, especially high school, I think can affect you for the rest of your life because that's sure. when you can adopt a certain trait, a certain habit that's bad for you. Mm. That's when you can even destroy your lives because that's when there's pressure. Uh, I think most of us you try to explain ex experiment with cigarette. Mm. Uh, some are looking good; they're smoking weed. Probably a girl you have a crush on is also smoking <laughs> something, and you're trying to fit in so bad. Yes, you know in that moment, how did you resist the pressure? My father was a very strict man. Mm. He was a very strict man. Um, I yeah. my father because you know so mm. such things I would always talk like that when I'm with the, the boys at school but the truth of the matter is um, when I go back home my father would come back or whatever. Mm. And that ended up making me to be different even from Lukoskolo. I was never so much of a person no longer I, I'm easily influenced. Um, the strict father that I had always made me believe in confidence as well. Mm. Who, who, who made me go after what I want. So, but I started drinking at a late stage. Way, way too late. I think even after tertiary, when I started working probably. Mm, mm. Um, even Lethapa. Till today, I can't remember Lethapa. It's about for Zegi because, well, for Zegi, Gilauri, Donagi, Zivile, probably Gilitisher. Yes, yes. So, because my father was that strict, you know, mm, mm. and Zunwan Masagani, Gimola, Mutabla, and Oro. Yeah, all this language. So, I, I, I was never that. And um, it's because I knew or go, I, and even my mother as well uh, uh, um, made sure that I don't do such. And but moreover, everything was done so much because of later back Rek. You know, we, we, we did a lot of your, your Sunday school. I was very active at, school, uh, at Sunday school as well. Uh, the memory verse, you know, having to learn the Bible from that young age. So, learning to delay to be principled. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then at a later stage, I had a brother who used to beat me up. And Andrapa's yeah, Nandrapa. Good. Uh, he's five years older than me. Nandrap and Jiak, why, but you know, I think it's just that brotherly thing. Mm. But I love him so much then. And um, 
my father one 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 time abala bilo go go defend he took me to karate so i did karate for four years uh kyokushin guy um, now that that taught me taught me discipline you are lucky we never met go go machine ni ko ka ka director hello grade oh yeah, yeah yeah you would have sparked with me and you would be looking different my friend ah no 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 i i, I mean i sparked with simon morano which is one of my brothers now yeah um but still i i took in the pain the pain you know what yeah. made me good mm. i was very skinny so always fought people uh who are younger than me maraki we also oh. so i was more experienced than everything so that thing helped me a lot mm, okay yeah, okay no 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 for me karate taught me discipline and that's why i was very disciplined from that young age mm. family wise work wise relationship and all of that so discipline plays a very big role when it comes to um such the arts where did it start church the arts my brother used to be a big time hip hop fan like go la ratso go tla tupac they used to call him tupac he used to look like tupac Um and when you would play all those two park your Snoop Dogg your Michael Jackson or whatever so i think music for me it like a uh, because no one in my family is musical in terms of they they can't sing they don't play instruments mm. but they they just loved music like my father used to play a lot of your Manhattans or whatever but i used to find myself listening to hip hop songs from my brother and i imitate them listening to Manhattan from my my father i imitate them So from the age of 12 13 probably mm. that's when I fell in love with music and you know you remember we used to have the music books yeah so I would write all the lyrics and and and, and then 2014 we started having a hip hop group uh the majita go guys we used to call ourselves DOTs there was Bubi uh, um BTB BTC and them and when I was in that those hip hop groups in elena bale bore yes kitlong wala but at the same time with the when the chorus comes I'll be the singer as well oh, after I did the hip hop mm, part but I would mm. be the singer. So from that age I would say 13 14 and then at the age of 15 that's when they introduced me to the church choir. Mm, mm. And then uh Sisneli go uh Sisneli Hopani go International Assemblies of God. One time uh um it was myself Olivo Dr. Dumi Joseph Abu Charlie mm. they would say ish because obviously they 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 saw that we loved music you know but lidisha choir and then uh, that's that's that was the first time when i let the choir myself and joseph mm. and then after that um every sunday i think we were just leading the choir until we started a group again in church as well um we used to call ourselves gospel rhythm i think mm. and then uh, yeah up until the age of 16 and that also made me my father I uh, 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 told my mother one day Kitlina stupe go opera. He didn't know I could sing. And then he told my mother or Emana ke kolo ngwana o ka ro maratong mo go la opela. And opela o sana nyana. So every day my father would re tla re re no ati ya re mona ngo pelele. And I'm like I that time mo ngwele ke opela ke dira stupe yana le ka ntlo. But this time mo re ke eme pele ha ke mo opela according to that. But a month later I lost him. Uh, that also made me then to feel a bit you know guilt in yanela or mara why give me mo mopela dimane ke mo pelele and so that he could realize my talent and you know there's one <clears> thing that i admire about you because uh sometimes we share our pain mm. we share our stories in order to for other people who could be going what we're going through yes to relate but also to heal True. now sometimes i feel like some stories i have to tell in order for me to deal with them and then mm. I've seen where you would uh you know say something and mention about how your your dad how he died and how it affected you mm. and also how when uh, your struggles at some point you felt like there's nothing for you you know in this world but <coughs> I'm not sure if we should go there you know but uh I'm just saying worry leading to that did you see it coming did you that What? No, not at all. My father was a very happy man. He was a very happy man. He made everybody happy. Very smartest man, intelligent and wise and spiritual as would well. Warm up the place. Okay, yeah, would warm up the place. He was that guy. Like I, I think I'm I'm still yet to get to his level. And the night that he died, he committed suicide. I was 16, uh still looking for a father to, you know, to grow with him. So, go gaya gona le it's a house and then gona di back room. 
So my father um, would always go into the back room with my mother, Kabo Ma Seven, Balebella Ditaba, you know, like old people things. Renever Salindoana in Nalebrag would watch obviously um, you know, movies in the house. So that night, um, <clears throat> just like any other night, but did you get a back room? So normally if my mother would come back into the house to come sleep, Kabo Ma Nine. I would go into the back room. That's when we would have a father and son talk. Sometimes till two o'clock. Sometimes till two o'clock. Yes. So that night, Ibil, I wanted to tell him because it was going towards the holiday June. Since my sister is in Job, I want to go to Jam Ali. Because we want to win chocolate and they sing so good and I could do better. Jam Blast. Yeah, Jam Blast. Yeah. So, but obviously, I cannot just say, hey, Papa, you know, Jam Ali. You know, but I wanted to go to the back room and might like Andrew. Then rebelled that father and son talk. Then I could break the news to him to say, listen, uh, but the funny part, he came into the house and then me and my brother was watching a movie. So my mother has went to sleep at the time. He just looked at us from the passage. I will have a lost mind. I was like, I, there you start again. You know, happy chap. Then he went back to the back room. So he will get a little bit of a break. So I feel like I'm going to I'm like, eh, kilo wana kinyo ko vula, maran tongo yer kwa ba ba ba. I'm thinking, ah man, I'll see him tomorrow. There's still another day. The next thing in the morning between six and seven, that's when the time er abantu shaka yana le my mother as well. My mother wants to show her happy your father didn't come back to the house. So kato I got that penny good to say, what are you saying? So. When my brother also woke up, we all, the three of us, tried to look for my father in the house, in the yard. The gate was locked. Um, any other, there was no sign. But there was a light kakodi back room, konadut. So we couldn't get in because the keys, we couldn't find the keys. He but locked. He locked. Then eventually they found the keys. He was nowhere in the back room. My brother, lo checka, lo kuku, my mother, Lena, checka somewhere else. For some reason, I, I, I had. And then I knew that this Iduma I knew that this I knew that this I knew that both the doors here I slide the the normal door it was locked and then I tried to open the one I slide there was some funny way near lock so I, I opened it so I I I think I once saw some scene like that on TV through movies and stuff kabataka smoke kusa it's so exhaust. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. It hit me so hard, but I realized, oh, okay, give one house pipe each of from uh, the car. I echo the window. And that time, I was about to get panic. And I get panic there, and then eventually I ended up managing to get to the Kinche house pipe, like Kinche from the window, go to the driver's seat. And he was reading a book, yeah, Desmond Tutu, I think. So I. Opened the car, we found a way to open, broke, and you know, the first thing that I did, I just touched him, and he was already gone. Inside now, yeah. So of course now Narobichi, like you know, obviously I carry Urleas no, and then the you know, so hey, it hit me hard. Did you at some point feel like the time of attack Guavaba? If you went in, yes, maybe he could still be alive. Yeah, because. Um, I think one of the things that used to traumatize me throughout the years was that my, my father was a life changer. Nili Mutola wa Tushawat about things, you know. Um, to, to a lot of my friends, they, they always call me for advice. I'm that brother and that uh, counselor almost, gift. But that day, I ekki told you too much. I felt like ringebeki because it was almost 10 o'clock. My father being so much of a focused man, accurate as well, he wrote a suicidal letter, a very small letter just to my mother to take care of us. But he even wrote the time, half past 11. And you attempted to go in before that? At 10 o'clock. If I went at 10 o'clock to the back room and spoke to him, half past 11 would have found us talking still. You know what I mean? So... Fast forward to that, now it's six o'clock when we found him. Carbon dioxide takes about 30 minutes plus to get you. You sleep and you... Yeah, you sleep, you go into your deep sleep. So when I found him, I, I held him like this. I, I, I've never cried like that in my life. And 
Hey, that moment, my yo. Yeah, my my life, yeah, hey, yeah, shut her down, blind. But but again, um, you know, just to be, because <laughs> I think Kilawana, your hero. This is your hero. Hey, the only hero you're close to, you can see at home. Yeah, this is your hero, and uh, to see him at that at at that position, at that state. Yeah. Both of you. It's fine. Podcast is nice. Eh? <laughs> Just I'm breaking that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But 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 to to be honest with you, Aish, I think that's why Aki Aki Hono postpone deal. Like I'm one person who, if I have to do something today, I have to do something today because uh, that moment taught me, Rory, tomorrow never comes. It never comes at all because I never seen a sign, nothing at all. Nobody has ever seen anything like that. And a boy at 16, automata and into your adolescence, um, this guy, you started being with him at the age of 12, how root life. So 16, you're thinking, now I can become a proper greater man like he was. But I'm, I'm being deprived of that. And my, my, my life was cut short from, from such. And how I knew, that's when I failed from 4I2. From being an A student, I failed from 4I2. It, so affected, I had to, you it affected me that much. So I had to do... Uh, you're on a grade 11 from four, right? Three times until I passed in matric, I did passed. But so, I, 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 I lived with depression. So such a scene, you can't take it out of your mind. Nah. You can, it's like you can still see it. It's here. It. It's here. Um, I've noticed again, uh, hey, suicide is bad, man. Mm. I was suicidal as well uh, at some point. But you know that's when you respect the power of God. <sighs> and... You know, just to stand behind a car, Mushog mm. was till today. This is twenty something years later. Excuse me. This is twenty something years later. Mushog langa over. Half a second, my tear rolls down. It takes you back there. It takes me back there. It's like a cologne. No go mutuanga cologne. Opo chamama. E Mushog till today. Hagi no go fella. It takes me back to that scene because. My mother couldn't, my brother couldn't. And tell me, uh, when it affected you, as you say, or like you started to struggle uh, with depression, eh? yeah. did you feel like it's better you follow him? Or that thought process, you, you felt like it's over. What, what, what like drives or boiling like you feel? Uh, because there's so much we don't know about depression. I mm. tried to read and really investigate. Uh, but I believe what a gay, you also reach a point where you feel like there's nothing for you anymore. Look, life is a, it's a, it's a spiritual thing. Uh, in fact, we are spirits more than being human beings. Mm. And one of the things that I've realized, I mean, you can never explain an emotion why only happy. You can never explain an emotion why only sad. It's a chemical process. <laughs> It's, it's God's mysteries, mm. you know. Um, but I so believe what if our parents at some point or great-grandparents or whatever, uh, they, they took their time to teach us about spirituality, the issue of spirituality, we would have at least handled certain matters differently from what we are doing now. How does anyone explain depression? How does anyone explain bipolar? Nobody will ever do that. They will diagnose you, yes, this and that, but it's a spiritual thing more over anything. Um, we, we, live, we live our daily life with demons, things that we cannot see. Our ancestors, as they put it, uh, they are with us on a daily basis. So I think whatever that led him to do the depression, I mean, to, 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 to commit suicide, um, it was almost a spirit that then started living around the family, which then says he was going through something. That's why he decided to take his life. Perhaps... If he has overcame that, he would have then also documented or wrote or told how he came out, out of that. So chances are, Linda, at the time when I was still, when I was going through a depression, not necessarily only because of him, but through life matters. I mean, I was in Joburg. Um, the one day uh, I've got sinuses, I just went to the chemist, I bought 48 sleeping pills, schedule zero. And I was just tired of living. 
And I had them, all of them. But the funny part, uh, which I always explain, that's, why I get a, that's when you start believing in the power of God. It was not my time to go. But as well, God made me to go through that moment so that I can break the curse of suicide. Peace. Because I woke up almost three hours late after I had those pills. And funny thing, but alone I would, on your own. Yeah, alone on my own. And then I go to my care. So someone, some pastor told me, or no, for some reason, no gwinje mo yao back. Because no she. Then later on at night, I slept again. Following day, I drove, I took my daughter to school, to, 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 to the crash. And Nikki drive at 20, 40, because Nikki. I carry, obviously, you're not well. Yeah, I'm not well. The yeah. sleeping pills did DJ in my veins and everything, you know. And nobody knows that you you attempted. No, I was I was I was I was there with my then uh, the mother of my my daughter. She she couldn't see anything because obviously I had it so well. But the funny part is after I dropped my daughter to 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 school, I made a U turn in the middle of a road. I drove myself to the doctor. I can feel like a mother. I cried so much. Kamoja gotta listen. I need help. Mm. I had 48 sleeping pills. I'm suicidal. The mm. guy was screaming there and called a lot of people. And then bam, but let me shut up at start out drain or whatever. And then they they sent uh, they did a letter for me to get admitted in hospital. Mm. I was in hospital for about five days. Um, and yeah, and I came out. But the, the the bottom line is, at the time, that whole depression or whatever it is that I was going through. It led me to that because of the spirit that we carried from my father. Ish. And at this point in time, I go through the most more than I went through at the time. But I can tell you now that I'm, I'm no longer suicidal. So that moment was to break the curse of suicidal in my family. Do you think there was something that triggered uh, you maybe thinking like, it's over now? Were you, was there maybe some things you were going through? Uh, whether business, whether school, whether relationship was? Not really. Um, I, I did mention earlier on that I'm much of an introvert. And being an introvert is that I enjoy a lot of me time. Mm. So me time makes me to be that person who lives in my mind to think. I create movies in my mind. I do things in my mind. And, you know, you, we, we then become overthinkers. What is not black, you make it to be whatever the color is and you believe in it. So it, 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 there was nothing really that trick at that time, but it was more, more to do with just me overthinking one thing after the other, one thing after the other, until I just decided, you know what, this life is not worth living. And yeah, but now I'm not suicidal anymore. Um, it was just the moment. But... I guess get depression, but at the same time, depression, when you go through it, you, you, every day, but they don't know you're suffering inside. So that's why every time when someone is going through something, I always tell them, don't hesitate to call me. Two o'clock in the morning, call me. I'll talk to you because it means now, when I explain that we are spiritual beings, um, one, because I wrote about it at some point and I speak about it on radio mm. and, and all of that. I'm not scared to speak about that. Yes, I'm, I'm aware. Yeah. yeah. And when I speak about it, I don't speak about it to get, you know, attention or anything like that. Yeah. It's, it's for me to alert people or guys, you go through things, but you're not able to voice them out. Now, there was a lady who once uh, sent me a message on Facebook. God, Please give me your numbers. My brother is suicidal. I need to, to speak to you. Mm -hmm. God, I'm number, God, food. And I spoke to the brother. But... I then later realized, oh, because I broke the case of suicide, it means, um, um, the spirit of suicide knows me. Do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? The spirit of suicide now knows me. If anyone is now suicidal amongst us, um, but just me being in their presence, automatically that demon is able to go away. That's, 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 that's the power of humanity and, and of course, God, where uh, we go through certain things. But it's because you've got the spirit off. And that's why I'm in touch with you. I'm that spirit. So I think that's what is happening with me. 
and and hence you find even in in my music or, or gigs that I get booked, um, you know, someone will come to you and say, "You healed my soul." Oh man, that's powerful. You know, uh, and then you start asking yourself, "What? I was just singing. I don't know. You healed my soul. You relieved something from me." I get booked a lot as well in funerals, I, and one day I ask God, I'm like, "God, it's like you you want me to relieve my pain." Every time people book me at funerals, someone has lost his dad, someone has lost his mother. And I go through that pain again, but only to find out, or no, it's because I'm healing those that are going through it, that thing at the time. They are not strong enough like I handled it. Mm. But my spirit then, God has contained it so much or in that manner. Mm. 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 So that's probably why I had to go through that. At the time, I didn't understand why I'm going through that. Because also, you know, I think uh, these things are complex, especially spiritual matters obviously mm. but also psychology says uh depression key cause also by some chemicals in the brain that's the psychology yeah uh, that's why why mm. you understand and i also even tell people kere uh a person like me i think i've been through a lot and I don't remember once thinking or like maybe I can end it all. Uh, you know, the worst, I think that one of the worst thing is uh, when you are given a life sentence for something you didn't do. Mm. And you know that your life is over. But at least the, at that <coughs> moment, still I held on or like there's hope. Mm. They stayed a bit, that, but at some time like they realized that it was wrong for, for them to convict me for that. Yeah. Uh, and all that. But I'm just saying, Uri, also the alertness of the scientific part, especially the psychological part, it's one thing that I believe also we need to check it. Uh, 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 in terms of even therapy, consulting, if, if there's supplements we need to take. Because according to psychology, something again can trigger. Mm. Can trigger it. And then remember, when you're in that space, it's a point of no return. Look at the way you're explaining how your dad was. And also other cases of people who committed suicide that we know, that we've heard of. There are some people who still can't believe they did it. Mm. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and now I'm just saying, maybe even though spiritually, we, could, we should also check the scientific part of it, the medical part of it, uh, uh, or to know how to deal with it. Because... Uh, some are there like it's like asthma. Asthma doesn't go. It can attack you after 20 years. Yeah. Uh, with the weight. So, and we are living in a world like there's so many things we are dealing with. Mm. There's so many. Uh, as men, we want to provide for our family. We want to be fine. We want to do well. We have goals and everything. And those things, we carry them every day. Sometimes you go on for years trying to achieve something and it's heavy on you. And something triggers it. Can trigger it. I mean, okay. So sorry, sorry to just to uh, mm, go yeah. to from what you're saying. The reason why I keep on speaking about the issue of spirituality a lot, mm. yeah, it's because of even through or during or since that time, you're in twenty when my father died when I was sixteen. Yes. Um, I tried to learn the spiritual world. Um, I'll tell you about it. Or let's say, for instance, I mean, the people, <laughs> the motivational speakers, they'll always tell you. If your certain car, Mercedes Benz, there's no way you can take it to Toyota. Mm. Mercedes Benz is the only people who knows exactly what parts they did. Unless it was a mechanic, yes. Go to the maker. Go to the maker. We, 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 now, and in, in, you're speaking about the scientific part of it. Mm. We learned your geography, your histories, whatever, which is something a lot of people are saying, but how and why did we learn such? Can they start introducing emotional intelligence at school? Can they start introducing um, spiritual intelligence at school, so that we can start learning and 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 uh, learning how to deal with matters? Because Yo. 
Yeah. school fees. And now, at the time, because nobody has ever taught you emotional intelligence, what do you do? You clap. Okay, you talk about how many people are And you talk about because of when. Do you understand? I don't know, because we were never taught. How? Today, we've got Dr. Mabot. He was not born like that. He was taught. He had to go through certain lessons that me and you didn't go. Mm. Whether the university was because of money or whatever, but he was taught until he graduated, until he qualified for that. Mm. Why can't somebody teach us how to become who we really are? This is where the spiritual matter comes through. But if someone can direct you to say, Mara, Banaka, Toreao era, or Gamaho, Jagba Jambang era. So those leaders need to be leaders from a spiritual level, needs to be leaders from an emotional level. Hence, when I told you the emotional intelligence part of it, when I learned it from karate, the discipline go worry. You, you only fight when you defend yourself. So no matter how Rogan Rogajwa, Pichaka is on one. Yes, can I love Panzo? I get karate guru, I buy. But I'll never fight with anyone. I'll, I'll warn you first and I'll talk to you properly because it, it all goes with even spirits. There are things that are directing you to want to fight me. But if I speak to the spirit inside of you, it will come down. There are people that they ask, hey, why did you do that? I don't know. Someone, someone stabbing someone yeah. 94 times. 94. No, there was a demon that got inside of him. And it did what it did. Now it left. But if we were able to learn to speak to that spirit at the time that mm. it was doing what it was doing. So I'm, I'm, I'm just saying what a, the problem of humanity is spirituality. Simple. If we know who we are, why you are who you are now, then you'll start learning how to deal with yourself. And that's why now when I started learning that, I understood a lot of things. Or, oh, okay, so much is, so dollar is busy card, get life. But how am I this Mercedes, if you go fix like a Toyota? I can't. I get in touch to, with the one that made me to say, but I'm fetish him. Why am I like this? Not about the other person. I get the worry and I get Toyota or Mercedes. About me. Because you can do anything to me. Mara, now how I'm going to react to you. It's what makes me to be the man that I am today. Integrity, mm. principled. So it doesn't matter what or What matters is how I react. Yeah, I think it's a it's, it's a complex one. Let, <laughs> let's 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 move to your career. And you know, I'm thinking that there's so much you have shared around your music career. And I think we've yeah. been following you, but I'm trying to get what's unique. I want to understand the philosophy around your art. You know, uh, I believe. Uh, you standing and singing, uh, you presenting yourself the way you present yourself. It is not necessarily, I'm going to say, <laughs> that there must be a philosophy that backs that. And then I've also noticed uh, the gigs you get booked in. And some of the gigs I can see that it means you are good in personal relations. Yes. Uh, when you meet people, they can even tell people, this guy is nice. Yes. Uh, and because, you know, you can see that this gig, uh, uh, comes from a certain personal touch you have had with someone. Mm. It is not because of the head of your music. Yeah, or yes, oh, yes, you're and right. All that. Yeah. I was actually even laughing about it uh, the other day with my, I've, I've got a new band, the vocal band, and they were saying to me, Orman, <clears throat> we need to do a concert this year, Yamat yeah, Vocal, mm. um, and with your journey of music. And funny thing, I recalled what a Kile Joburg at, in, in the year 2000, Kilo Stadisha Civil Engineering, I completed in 2004. Mm. Um, but before I completed on the 15th of October, that's when, um, when I had the group Libo Tonalt and Pleasure, we met Slala Slota. He signed us on the 15th of October in 2004. Mm. So this means this year I'll be actually 20 years in the music industry, formally, on the 15th of October. You know, um, the very 20 years, it doesn't look like it was 20 years. You know, but when I really actually start looking at the fact on, on how I got this far, what you just said now, mm. the personal relationships that I make with people, um, you know, the humility. It's, it's, it's one other thing that also makes me to have such relationship with people. 
Um, my my clients, most of them, Kivali, Kitsinle, Wana High School, Nike Mopel, like a classing. Today he's a CEO of something and he decides, Joe, I'm going to talk. Let me ask you a Hey, let me ask you a I don't know. What is it? Ah, no, no, no. Let me ask you a question, my brother. Eh, uh, <laughs> no man, but 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 it's because of because mm. I asked God as well. I'm like, oh, how do I know you? Um, was it even like my mother used to tell me, I'm not like some sadia or a tagavasa, man or a tagavasa ni apil. But how do you deal with all these powerful women, beautiful, older than you, who want you so bad? Before positions of the world, we are all human. I always say that simply because the spirituality part again. I'm very disciplined. No, yes, because you know, I understand, I understand mm. the balance. Ne? Mm. Yeah, you're trying to maintain a relationship. You know when yeah. someone is uh, hitting on you, but you're trying to brush it off nicely. Yes. And you reach a point where you can see this person, it's either going to hate <laughs> me or I must give in. I'm not perfect. Yeah. Yeah, once in 15 years, once in 100 years. Yeah. Um, I've got inboxes. Someone will tell you straight, I don't want anything to do with you. Mm. Yeah. You know, when you were singing there, whatever, whatever, you know. Um, but I still say, I think once, um, you, you do not really have to be someone's husband to help them with a the tire punch. But you do it because your, your nature as a man says, Tusha Mutu. Right, but but some sometimes not not in that not in that way. <laughs> so the puncher has to Nah, no, no, not in that way. Yeah, uh, in 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 the yeah, uh, in the Mara. form. <laughs> but <it looks laughs> the no man, but 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 the truth of the matter is, um, I I pay too much, mm. and I mean I had my first child at the age of thirty two, as an artist with my peers having kids from the age of twenty and all. Only now I've got three kids at the age of 43. Mm. Uh, one girl and two boys. But at the time, mm -hmm. imagine I could have, how many kids I would have had No, now. you were using a condo. No, come on. <laughs> Look, well, anyway, just to get deep, sometimes I, I, I had those few friends that I shared a bed with. Mm. And some, they started spreading rumors that Matlats is gay simply because I didn't do what they wanted me to do. But because I knew who I am. Uh, friends in the industry. Oh, anyway, like friends, yeah. whatever. Anyway, all I'm saying is girls. Uh, I get it. 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 I get Oh, you're saying you spent uh, a night with some girls, you never touched them to a point where they think well, there's something wrong with you. Hey, I get it. I get it. And guys live on a battle which are a for him. No, which one you know, young was a vet. Was Luxi Panjar. No, <laughs> yeah, but but I didn't do that. I understand. Because Kibone JP to say, if I do this, mm. do it don't affect us so. Ninning, ninning. And again, once you realize your spirituality, your spirituality, you would hear a worry. Hone Like there's a saying, Barry, the day you realize the power of your presence. There are certain places you don't go. Who cares something? Do we care? I'm gonna push you out of your logo. I know you're all alone, alone, man. Ba ba ba. Screw it. I'm gonna go away. Bar man. Why not? I'm gonna go out this and that. Ba mu check. We don't listen to that. Exactly. So, I think subconsciously there's a voice that keeps on talking to me to say, "Ish, ish." Oh. As you are saying, when the baba ngo yes, ba wo tla ba, you know, ba wo ba wo feria life, whether older, whether younger, or whatever. But when you go from the spiritual detection, the only way to run away from sexual temptation is to run away. And at some point, I ran away. But at some point when I didn't, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, but um, it happens. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I think you're not with nobody a crush on me or an inbox. <laughs> Maybe when that time comes, I will, I will deal with the spirituality. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, so so your way. philosophy is um, you want your music to be meaningful in people's lives, but you also want to impact people not only on stage, 
Yes. With uh, your interactions and, and your philosophies, and most importantly, spiritual. Yes, let them experience me. When I look at play again, you like, what bora? Bora is because of the spiritual atmosphere that is there. Mm. I see connected to Sarah. Mm. Um, but at the same time, when I look more longer, I feel that, and then we have only that interaction. It's because they look up on somewhere spiritually to understand certain matters. Yes, that's why Kerry, the issue of spirituality is something that me and you can sit here the whole day. Regards to Kerry, we have no idea as to what is what. It's, but it's complex. Yeah, but mm. it's it's God's mysteries, and I I'm more likely always Kerry go up on a level, especially from a client base. Can you go by experience that part of me? Yes, my music is it's it's more of a bonus of what I do. Um, I'm more than my music. Mm. I'm more than uh, that guy on stage, Matlatsi Vocal. Like Matlatsi Match. But where are we going with the Matlatsi brand? How far do you want to take this thing? How far do you want to take it? Uh, what do you visualize in terms of like this will be one of your ultimate goals in the industry? Uh, what kind of show do you have in mind that one day if I do this? I'll say, I've done it. I've done something. <laughs> I, I don't know if uh, you have such plans. So I'm just assuming that there could be something that you feel like, I want to reach mm. here and I want to achieve this. I want to perform underwater, whatever <laughs> it is. You understand what yeah, I'm talking about? I get you. Yeah. I, I once said, Ori, I'm not scared of death. And when when I told certain people, or I'm not scared of death, they asked why. And I said, the day I died is be because I fulfilled God's purpose on earth. And it will be the time you are okay, we demand to share because if you feel it, you are But if you are not able to share, you are not able That's why you feel it, you are not able to share. Your accidents, your suicide, and all of the other things. So, with your question, the reason why you relate to this is because as I am able to my journey of music, or in a breakthrough, I mean, to have shared a stage with your Ringos, um, to have met Anthony Hamilton in the, in our music industry, it's like yo. Oh, it's the ultimate, but I met him then once. And you know the most important thing? I ob- observed the other time when Ringo was here. Yeah. You could see he has a personal touch with yes. you. See, I, I don't know you much, but I, I know that, I also know the impact you yeah. made with me. When we meet, it's nice. Yes. Uh, uh, it, it's okay. But I've seen that you have something with him because it was like, Matlazi, yeah. come here. I didn't like, expect that as well. Yes, you could And see, when you called me, I was like, at uh, some uh, point you were like, you could see that he's calling a <laughs> yeah, brother here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so that's why I don't really visualize an ultimate goal. Mm. I've done it. Inga performer with the ring, I've done it. No, I see it as a journey that I need to enjoy on a daily basis. Mm. If someone tells me, or today, for me, it's good, you know. But although, yes, uh, I mean, I, I, was, I, was, I was telling uh, the young artists recently, they've lived for so long. Mm. But industry are not these days. People, they don't reach 40. It's dangerous. Man. It's very dangerous. Yeah. Can we go back to basics and say, how did they make it? When I'm talking about the 20 years of music now, officially, mm. traveled to Zimbabwe, traveled to Mozambique, I traveled to Botswana, wherever. Mm. But my, my then now question is, everything now is trending, right? And someone calls me, <laughs> Do you want me to trend? I can trend if I want to, anytime. If I wanted to be so-called famous, I would have. I've, and you, met, you know I've mentored I, a few... What, what I always say, mm. sorry to... to, to uh, yeah, it's okay. I always tell people that I'm glad I am cappuccino now and for quite some time, kill a mature person. Yeah. You understand? Uh, I don't even have the energy to deal with some of the things that... <laughs> Somebody Tell maybe no. getting their attention can deal with. I can't. I, I can't. I, I, I won't keep up. I won't keep up, Jim. You see? I want to go to the mall with my kids. Yeah. That's what makes me, you know, to have pleasure. But if now in Kenegili, so and so, I wouldn't have survived. So for me, Ricky, Kibale, like this journey, and Kibocha, this one's or Buffett, there's something that we need to do go back to basics and ask, how did they make it this far? Hmm. So that Leonard can refer to that age, Eva Le Moyon. Can you go do that one day at 70 and someone says, sing, I'll take my guitar and sing? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we've changed the mindset of our parents when they thought music is just, hey, I'm like, am I not working? 
Mm. I mean, I get booked now. Um, um, when I came back to Limpopo in 2020, I said, I've learned things in Joburg for the past 15 years plus. Mm. Let me go back home and dominate. And I still get those calls, critics. Yeah, we're not more Limpopo fella. Oh, pushing you on a one. Every month I go out. Last Yesterday I was in Joburg doing a gig. But mm. what I'm trying to say is, I said, I want to go back to my province and dominate. And every week I get booked. Mm. So what fame do I want? Fame does not bring money. I can tell you that much for sure. Fame is a drug. Fame mm. is a demon. You know, you, you, you get pleasure from people screaming at you and, you know, applauding. Mm. But at the same time, when you look at your bank account, there's nothing. If you melek, for me it's an achievement. With what money? The one that I did from music. What music? The one that I get booked on a weekly basis. Wow. And that's that's the achievement. In all honesty, I don't want to lie. I still get calls from Majitaka Joe. And and in all honesty, you know that those who are in Josie, in Josie, they we don't think get paid. They, they get 1.5. They get Shame, yeah. all these things. So, but yeah. uh, 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 it's very tricky as we are talking uh, about that. Mm. Uh, uh, and I feel like, like it's, it's a lot of things that we can touch, especially about your music, uh, but also touch the unique side because there's a lot that we have shared <laughs> yeah. with that. But the last part of this interview, uh, because we, we're trying to build our viewers, uh, I would assume that at some point you were in a very tight, strong relationship with the person you were with, the mother of your child. And I don't think that breakup was easy. I don't know. I'm assuming. No, not at all. And many people don't know how to deal with such things. Uh, and it's you. you, you you're a star at that time. You, you're trendy. You she she was a public figure as well. Yes. She was a public figure and stuff. And then, uh, you know, the family, the pressure, the friends, uh, and everything. And then when, what I know about you is that you go everywhere with the person you are with. Mm. And that thing is no longer there. And I could, I could see sometimes you just post a little bit and I could mm. read between the lines that, mm -hmm. hey, we are going shallow out here. <laughs> yeah. But how do you deal with such pain of... of uh, you know, having been with someone, I mean, I'm, I'm, my, my first marriage uh, didn't go well. Uh, and I don't think it was an easy thing for me to deal with. But like, what is it that carried you through to be strong again, to also believe in love again? Because hence, when you come up from those relationships, you are like, ah, ah <laughs> um, I, I did mention that uh, I'm a very principled someone and whereby I've always been family orientated. Mm. You know, no matter how much I had a hiccups in, in life, even the time because I joined before my, my first marriage, um, I've, I've always been that person who I you know, tried to be straight type of thing. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is what made me survive that, uh, you know, separation and all of that, I, I still respect the mother of my daughter. I mean, um, we had a good thing going on. Um, unfortunately, you know, however that it didn't work out, I still got a lot of respect for her. Or for giving me such a beautiful uh, baby girl. Um, but I, I did pray a lot. I had friends like Bob Rapet, Giru Khortman. They, they, mm. At some point, Nagasin Jampe Fandiwan or a Kyalla Marai. You know. I didn't tell you that I was going to be a lot of fun. No, 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 literally. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, I, I also, I'm, I'm one person, I, I write a lot. <laughs> I heal from writing. Uh, I'm not much of a reader, but I think I speak more of my what is inside. Mm. Uh, that when I do that, I find healing automatically. That's powerful. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm not a person of many friends. I've got associate people that I meet along uh, the journey of life, but through that as well, I needed to still respect her. Uh, Twenty years down the line, my daughter will be old, and she will ask me to Hanti, why were you doing this with my mother at the time? Eesh. You know, so I couldn't react. And also what it came that time, yeah, during COVID. Mm. That was even worse because I had to come back home to Polokwa and I had to be locked up in my room all the time. Um, I would just go out and people expect me to still sing. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that, that time, you know, but uh, I, I, I would write, I, I would watch movies until four o'clock in the morning. Mm. You know, 
but like I said, ponelo peliaka idirile gore le yena ke mo protect and le nna ke protect to say I mean people didn't even know in fact uh, mm. what I was going through. Mm. Um, um, but luckily because I've killed the spirit of suicide at the time. So even now 2020 when it came, I was not it suicidal. Never anymore. Hit you. It never no. took you there. No. Yeah. But I just thought about it. I'm like, okay, I still need to deal with this um, in, in a way that tomorrow I'll be a better man even after I come out of it. We, we've got a good proper relationship now. We talk about uh, uh, um, um, our daughter. We co-parent. Mm. Uh, they met with my current one now. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, we, we matured. We, we old people now. We, we grown. Mm. Yeah, mm. so it's things they long worry at the time when I was going through. I would encourage a lot of men, and, and especially when... They under a lot of pressure, uh, you know, uh, providing like as you said earlier on. And um, we 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 try not to cry. Uh, mm. as much as you can and talk, talk. Yeah, but no matter how much you think or No, but 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 learn learn to talk. Yeah. Um. One thing that you need to take to head, Gori. Whether you tell the wrong person or the right person, it started with you. You spoke. You released it. Mm. Because the more you bottle it, certain issues and matters you think, ah, yeah, I met her in Gassibaboji. Boy, I'm Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to Then we'll probably laugh about it, because there's no comfort, but I'm going to say, you'll feel the relief afterwards. And that's why I always say, five, ten years down the line, you will laugh about it, and you're like, how was I going through that, you know? Um, but it starts with talking. It starts with crying. I used to go to the movies, uh, cinema, every Sunday, alone. And I'll sit there at the back and watch a movie. I thought the movie was not going to be a good movie. Yeah. And go, oh, go. It was tunes. 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 Yeah. But it was tunes. 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 Yeah. I'm relieved. Yeah, or it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little a little bit a little bit of 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 a little bit I a little bit of 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 a I, I can see the questions that I, <laughs> I drafted here. It's all <laughs> yeah. It didn't work and everything. But I, I, I just wish you all the best, man. No, thank you, you know so why? much. I've seen the hard work you put. Yeah. I've seen uh, when you have a show sometimes how you rehearse. You know, you can see that the whole week, this man knows the songs that he's been performing for quite some time. Yeah. But because he's going to a show, I still he's rehearse. rehearsing again. Uh, I've also seen the quality. I've seen the image. Yes. I can see that Maybe sometimes we even fight with your wife about, <laughs> Mara, do we really need to buy more clothes? <laughs> I can see that you, you, you know, you check, you, you, yes. you are put in there. And man, I so wish, you know, you reach your dreams and can flourish more. True. And you are one artist that I also know you're so familiar with. Yes. The only artist who once brought a one-year-old or something. <laughs> And to the limas. And the music awards. And, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I think it, it, it was symbolic. Yes. Uh, with your wife, it was symbolic on what you represent and what you believe in. And it still remain a very memorable thing. Uh, my brother, I, I'll, I'm also praying to my God and my gods and your gods. Too. Well, one day my, my son will be, mm. well, they will ask him at an interview, what is your fond memory with you and your father? Yeah. It was one year I wore a suit. It took yeah. me to the awards. I met so you can imagine. I, I met, met DJ Cappuccino. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I was on the red carpet at the one age of one. Exactly. So imagine uh, even like the, the questions you were asking me about my father now. Mm. And when I say the, those, I still smile. Mm. So you can imagine what it's going to do to him. I'm, mm. I'm still going to bring them, by the way. Yeah. yeah. yeah this yeah. year, I'll, I'll probably come with the whole family. Assembly. Yeah. Assembly. My daughter and my Let's assembly. do this and yeah. I wish you all the back. Thank you so all the much. All the, all, the, all, the, all the good things must come to you, my brother. I wish you all the best. I want you to win. And, you know, I, I, my prayer is that, especially as people from Limpop, we need to support each other, support our artists. Yes. As I'm always preaching that, that that wedding, that party that you have, that 50th party, 
call someone from the province. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, I wanna say, you know, call Kinal Five. Yeah. What can you do with this? Can you come do two songs? Come make. Can yeah. you come? That's how we're going to stimulate the Grow each other. Yes. And, and a lot of my performances, when when I'm when I'm booked, I I would call in a few individuals that I know that they sing as well, just to you know mm. partake in my um um, um you know guests and, and audience. The Muso legacy. That what happened? The Muso brothers. No, no, no. You had a, a, a show. Oh, the Legacy Nights. The Legacy Nights. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, uh, at some point, when when I decided not to go ahead with it, you it, plugged many men. Yeah, but it was it was uh, mm. you know day by day tearing me apart because you know aside from losing money, it was also um, you know draining me a lot because mm. you know I did not really have uh, a productive team as opposed to. But we're bringing it back, by the way, very mm. soon. Yeah. Hey, and she said, no, Pilar yeah, Fodela, Dr. Mabuta, yeah. <laughs> he's coming to rescue us. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a great man. He, he rescued a lot of us. Uh, the tabale, the tabale, the tabale, ah, hey. <laughs> he must yeah. be given his flowers. Man. Ah, man. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. He, he really helped us. He was part of, he, he was in fact the main sponsor. Yeah, yeah. I know Legacy I remember. Nights, yeah. Yeah. And many other artists that came out from there, Bo, you know, Elsa Black as well. Uh, yeah. Malone, Malone, I'll sit there and, with him and admire all those older women who like <laughs> <laughs> thank uh, you for listening to just talk <laughs> with dj capacito thank you for viewing thank you for subscribing thank you for liking and sharing <laughs> um uh, please be with us for this uh, platform to grow we need your support we need you to be there not only uh we don't need anything monetary but for you sharing and sharing our content it means a lot i want just talk with dj capacito just talk with DJ Cappuccino.